We are talking to Kenzie Ann. Yes. It's been good so far. I was at the Fan Gear booth. I also worked my Poke Me booth as well. And I walked around with some friends and I took a shit ton of pictures. Can I say shit on here? I started this year out in a January with, an, ex with a, an exclusive contract with Vixen. I ended it in September and I was like booked all the way to the end of the year. It was a great time and I'm loving being on set with shooting sex because I used to be in mainstream and I was a model for 10 years. Um, and yeah, here I am. I'm a playmate for Playboy Mexico, uh, 2021 Miss May, and I'm pet of the year, 2021, just announced last month. And thank you. I love my beautiful necklace. Look at that thing. She's stunning. Yes. Before I got into before I got into porn, I worked for companies like Free People, Carbon 38. I did a lot of fit, like fitness modeling. Um, honestly, I struggled. It was a hard time modeling. Unfortunately, there's a lot of behind the scenes dirty things that happen in that industry. And what I concluded was that I'd just rather suck dick on camera than behind the scenes. Vixen found me through Instagram and I said yes. And it was in the process of, I had just gotten my Playmate title, I just shot it. So they held me to a really great standard and it was incredible. I loved working with them. And I work with them all the time still. So we are going to promote you. Kenzieland.com. You can also find it on Miss, M-I-S-S, Kenzie, K-E-N-Z-I-E, and A-N-N-E.com. And you can find all my links there. So you can find my calendar for the last year. You can find videos that I produced and starred in as well. Um, I did the whole production of a lot of things. And um, I'm trying to build this brand as something where in the future I will have a booth at Expos. When you shoot, produce, do you shoot stuff you think you sell or stuff you want to see? I shoot stuff I want to see. When I shoot, I shoot visions that I have in my head. And to me, I would want to bring glam to porn. I want to make it beautiful. I want to see every person in this room as beautiful as they can be. And then I want to take them down and make them as dirty as they can be. And to me, Kenzieland is about worship and making porn actually enjoyable. Making sure people are having real orgasms on camera. Making sure people's bodies are being taken care of. Wow. For me, the reality of adult work, that is a crazy question because it took me a while to get here. I got here by becoming a cam girl to pay for nursing school, which I eventually dropped out of. And um, I found a beauty in it. I found a beauty in taking advantage of everything I've been sexualized for. Um, I was just telling my makeup artist right before I got here how my whole life I spent people would stare at my mouth when they talked to me. And I was like, you know, these weird things people do to you when you're younger and whatever happens, to actually take the power back in that and put it on camera for everybody to see. And you have power in that because you're in full control. And I would say the most I've ever been respected has been on set for porn. And from being in this business, has your perception of sex changed? Is sex a job now or do you still have fun? I absolutely still have fun during sex. I will say my standards raised, um, but honestly, I was always the girl who was really skeptical of people's last STD tests. Um, I didn't want to fuck around too much in the past because I was always worried about how dirty somebody was, and I hated fucking with a condom. So, like, when I would meet people and want to, like, mess around with them, it took me a while to actually get comfortable enough to have sex with them because I want to be with people that I trust. I want to be with people who can dominate me or be submissive to me in the appropriate ways, and you need to have trust with that person. So, unfortunately, one-night stands were never a thing. And also, in my personal life, I had ex-boyfriends tell me that I was trying too hard to impress them when I fucked and that I fucked like a porn star, but it is how I fuck. So I guess that just translates on camera now. I would say I'm so much more relaxed about sex, especially on camera. I would say I'm less confident when a director asks me to fake an orgasm because I'm overthinking it. 90% of my orgasms on camera are real. And that's because of the fact that I'm so relaxed 
and feeling myself and feeling like I'm finally using all the things that people wanted to use behind the scenes and I'm just putting it on camera for everyone to see. Anything you want to say to all your fans? My fans, I want you to always give me feedback. Tell me the things you love. Tell me the things that you want to see more of. Um, negative feedback from fans is more challenging from somebody who is a fan versus somebody who can actually help me work on criticism. So getting things that are, um, you know, feedback about like brands you love or brands you don't love, I love to hear that.